Hi everyone, welcome to the important session of handling missing values. In this session, I'll show you how to find the missing percentage, how to analyze the missing values using bar graph, using the matrix, sheet map, and dendrogram. And as you can see, in the, for this session, I am not using Spider Editor. I am using Jupyter Editor. Most of my uh, like subscribe have suggested me to use Jupyter. So this is one of the session where I'll uh, just use Jupyter. What we will do, we will start with the data set and I'll find the missing percentage. After that, we will install the missing NO package and then we will uh, like execute. Uh, I'll show you how to find the bar graph, matrix, uh, heat map, and dendrogram uh, for the missing values in a data set. What we'll do, we will import pandas and and we will import the data set the .csv file into our data frame and we will print the head okay so this is my uh, data set i have nine columns and there what is the shape of my data set so uh, there are 649 rows and nine columns okay now what we will do i will show you see if you can see there are so many nns right so for that what we'll do we'll find the is null okay and we'll find the percentage how to find the percentage of the null values in my data set first of all if i give df dot is null this will give me a matrix which will have only true and false true where the values is there and false if it has any n if i give this followed by sum then i will get the values of this uh, whatever uh, is there right now if i store this in some variable then what and then what we'll do after that we need to give the uh, we need to get the percentage wise okay of each column so so you can see here see the first uh, print what i am doing i am just printing the missing value sum so this is nothing but if you uh, if you get the is null based on that matrix which i have shown you and if you sum it it will sum the each and every uh, column uh, wherever we have null value it will give you the null values okay now if you give uh, like uh, df dot is null dot mean into 100 it will give you the percentage of the null values in each column and how we are getting this value see i have already shown you the total number of uh, the shape of this data set is 649 right the shape of 649 so what you do you get this 5, 5 divided by 649 into 100 and you get, sorry, this is 649. So you can, you get here, here is 0.77 which is exactly the same. So now for the diastolic BP column, if you take, you divide this by 32 and you will get 4.93, exactly the same, okay. Then similarly for serum insulin, will the number of uh, null values is 314. And the percentage is 48 so this is how we'll get the uh, we, will, we will get the percentage missing value percentage of our data set like for each column what is my missing percentage as I've said after this what we'll do we will import the uh, we will open the anaconda prompt and what I will do I will install pip pip install uh, missing and okay Okay, what I will do now, I will import Okay, so this is imported After that, uh, <coughs> what we will do We will see how to visualize a bar graph of a data set that has null value What I will do, msno.bar And I will give simply pass df So you see here, the bar graph is shown here, right? For the two columns which has huge number of null values is skin fold and serum insulin and you can see his skin fold and serum insulin uh, like has skin fold has 29.7 percentage and serum, serum insulin has 48.3 percentage you can see here okay. So this is how you can simply visualize there will be situation when your manager will ask you for a visualization of your data set okay this is just a simple example but this may help you in your project or now after this what we will do how to analyze using the matrix okay analyze using the matrix for that we have to give msno dot matrix and you pass your df see here a matrix will be formed in the pregnancy column pregnant column there is no null value it will be totally blank now the columns where you have null values there you have this white okay okay you can see skin fold and serum has so many null values you can, you can see it is not totally black there is um, white and black white and black which shows there are null value for diastolic bp uh, for glucose there is very very minimum for only five null values right so you can see here in glucose there will be somewhere around one two three so it will be one or two values combined here 
okay similar is the case with uh, uh, diastolic but for skin fault serum there's too many null values for bmi there's very less for diabetes pedigree age and class they don't have any null values and at the right hand side it show it shows you the so as we can see the spark line here it shows the data completeness and it also shows the nullity and uh, how is my data so that is all about uh, the metrics how to display uh, visualize the uh, null values using metrics now after this i will show you how to visualize the uh, null values using heat map okay. so what i'm going to do now i am going to visualize the null values of a data set using heat, heat map which is solely based on the correlation so if you can see here the values here for each and every uh, like um, box in this matrix we can uh, we see the values right so the values which is more toward uh, plus 1 and minus 1 it is a proper correlation and the values is which is uh, around 0 or like around 1 or 2 it, it shows a very uh, less correlation so in this case we can see the serum insulin and skin pore uh, are is uh, highly correlated where most of the fields are not that much correlated at all so this is all about the heat map even i have uh, my uh, video wherein I have discussed about this heat map also. I will give the link in my uh, description section. Uh, as you can see here, apart from the uh, color, uh, apart from the uh, number which I have told you that the, the greater is the number towards 1 or minus 1, the higher is the correlation between two fields. Okay, as you can see here, this is my heat map and this is my C map, which is the mapping of the number from minus 1 to plus 1 with the color. If you can see here, the darker is the color which show the uh, negative correlation and the brighter color here in the bluer okay the darker in the bluer shows the positive correlation and around zero which is like which shows that there is no correlation what we can get from this c map color uh, color range is the darker is my shade okay then there is a better correlation and if it is a very light shade then it's a very low correlation between the fields after this we'll uh, i'll show you how to like visualize endogram what okay so this is nothing but a dendrogram okay so before this i'll show you what is a dendrogram okay so in data mining we will we use dend dendrogram in data mining okay so this is nothing but a dendrogram and it shows the missingness uh based on the like uh, it will group the fields based on the missing net. Now, if you can see here, class, age, pregnant and diabetes, they don't have any null values. So they are being grouped together. One, two, three, four. After this, if you can see here, skin fold and serum insulin, they have both this column has so many null values. So they are similar kind of uh, like uh, uh, columns. So it is being grouped together. Okay. And at the back end, uh, dendrogram will also use the correlation matrix what we have used before. Okay. So the values of the correlation matrix to group similar kind of fields together. So this is how we will use, uh, we can use uh, missing NO package to visualize our missing values, to visualize using a bar graph, visualize using a matrix, visualize using a heat map and visualize using a dendrogram so that's it for this first session where i have used jupyter notebook okay so thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and i will see you in my next video which might be related to gradient descent or missing values or even core python so i am working on multiple things so i will see you in my next video thank you